Hello everyone, it is Rosenquartz here and welcome to another speed build. And today is a really exciting speed build because today we are building a restaurant with the new stuff from the Sims 4 Dine Out Pack. And let me just tell you, I love the stuff. <laughs> I love the stuff that comes with the pack. I, I like it a lot more than I thought it would. At first I thought I was going to be a little disappointed um, just because I don't like spending money and <laughs> and sometimes if like I spend like $20 or something like that or if I spend um, $40 on like an expansion pack it better be something that I really like and um, it's honestly a lot of the reasons why I haven't gotten um, get to work yet but um, which I will do in the future when I feel like spending $40 <laughs> But um, I decided to get this pack this time around because um, I just kind of wanted to get it. I was a little excited for it. Um, I, I think maybe it might have been because I'm a lot more a part of the sim community now. So I've been really like, every time someone else gets pumped, I get pumped. So um, I do really love a lot of the stuff that comes with it. I tried to do my best to use... Um, stuff primarily from the pack. I do use like a few things from other packs like well, the windows are from Spa Day and I use like um, um, get together like wallpaper and stuff like that and it's quite a bit of like um, Spa Day and um, dine out kind of stuff just because they kind of work together. Um, a few of the stuff like I, I don't I don't particularly know why but they do <laughs> but um, yeah so I um, quite a few of the wallpapers that I use like that brick right there is um, from the dine out pack and that more creamy kind of um, paneling on um, the building is um, also from dine out and um, yeah I really love a lot of the stuff it like the wall oh excuse me sorry about that a lot of the wallpaper is I just I love the wallpaper and I love the flooring as well I use um, I think some of the marble flooring and I absolutely adore the marble flooring I think it looks absolutely amazing and I love all the little decor stuff that comes with it too like the plants for example I adore the plants I will be using the plants in so many of my builds from from here on in the future and yeah and I love all the little like stuff that you can get for your kitchen just so I cuz um, I love having new stuff for the kitchen as long as I can like I can make huge pantries now which I'm really excited about um, I didn't really go too crazy in with the kitchen in this one um, if anything I was kind of running out of space and I didn't want to go so big that was so much space that I didn't know what to do with um, everything works fine though actually no that's a lie what am I telling you guys I am telling you a straight up lie <laughs> um, I did do a test after I built this um, I took my um, new fave sim, Jean, in to um, go and look at, um, just kind of, just to play around with uh, the Sims 4 Dine Out stuff, and um, I had him sit down and, like, order a meal, and so we got there at about, like, 4 or, like, 5 o'clock or something like that, and we were there until, I think, about, like, 11 the next day, and we never got served once. Um, I have no idea why we just did not get served. I know some people were having a problem and um, I know on Twitter they were saying that like um, it's taking several hours for their food to come and then some people just weren't having this problem at all. Like for example, um, I was watching the Sim Supplies new like overview video just because I like looking even though I have the game. <laughs> I, I wanted to see kind of the gameplay kind of stuff and um, because I'm lazy and <laughs> and sometimes I just I screw up I don't I don't know what I do sometimes and I just I mess up somehow and um, he was having no problem at all ordering although he was ordering in a pre-made uh, restaurant versus my restaurant here which is made so I don't know what I could have done that made it not work um, so I assumed that there was something wrong with the kitchen because my orders were being placed some sims were getting their food and some sims weren't um, I don't particularly know why or why that could be, so I um, actually rearranged the uh, kitchen off camera. There's not really that much of a difference. You will see in the scre screenshots that all I did was just sort of um, move things around, just change the, the layout a little bit, and I think I um, made the bathroom just a little bit bigger because it was a bit small. and. Um, that was kind of about it, um, but yeah, I was I was definitely having problems with the um, 
the kitchen just stuff wasn't leaving the kitchen and I still honestly don't know why I didn't check again after I did it I kind of was concerned because my sim was basically almost dead and I didn't want him to die in my restaurant that would be awful um, I do have him saved on the gallery so if you ever want to play with him then you can but um, I like him a lot so I don't want him to die <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was kind of me playing around with this build. Otherwise, I do really like the build. I think it looks really nice. I think the only problem is actually just using the restaurant and trying to use it to, like, actually, like, play it. Um, for some reason, I just can't get food to come out. Maybe it might be just me or something like that. Or maybe, um, I figured that something was blocking the, um the kitchen stove or something like that. I assume that this is just a bug that um, they'll need to fix in the future. Um, that maybe something's being blocked or something like that. But I kind of figured something wouldn't work right away just because it is new and when they kind of send out these games, it's not like they're doing it as a beta test, but um, they can't catch all the problems, right? Um, they're in a very controlled setting versus like our setting, which is very like, we're trying to do whatever we want so and we're using like move objects and all these other cheats and stuff like that so obviously there's going to be a problem along the lines and um so i completely understand and i think in the future it will get resolved because i know there's a little bit of problems with the other stove the one that kind of peeks through the wall i was having a lot of trouble trying to actually get it to fit to a wall so um i know other people are having that problem too um but uh yeah, <laughs> so I, 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 I don't particularly know why it, it might not work. I, I assumed it's just a little bit of a bug. I think the only thing that I noticed as a bug after that is um, there's a little bit of musical chairs kind of going on. If one sim was sitting at the booth with another sim, um, one sim would end up getting up so the other sim could sit down and then they would stand there for ages until they finally sat down together. It was really weird. Um, and I noticed that problem like with other sims as well, like if one of them took longer to sit down or something like that, they would have a little bit of musical chairs, or if one sim sat down, quite a few of them would stand up. It was, it was a little weird, but they weren't like switching chairs all the time. time. It was just more like when one sim sits down, something would like set off the other so that it couldn't sit down, like the other sims couldn't stay sitting down, I mean. And um, that was the only like kind of like other thing other than food not coming out, out of the kitchen. But um, I know that that wasn't a problem when I was just doing a little bit of a play test in um, Shea Llama. And that's kind of like, I kind of use that as a little bit of reference of how to fix my kitchen. Um, so I assumed maybe something was just blocking the stove. So I moved the stove so that it wasn't like touching any of the walls except for against the... Um, the stove and I made it in a way that um, sims can kind of get all around it so I'm hoping that will fix things up and I put a stove in as well because maybe I was thinking oh excuse me I don't know why I'm so like my throat is dry that's probably why <laughs> but um, yeah I, I can't I can't honestly say I don't like I don't develop games or anything like that so I don't know why that could be that the food's not coming out other than something being blocked and the sims can't get to it. I didn't notice any of the sims kind of like waving their hands saying that they couldn't um, access this area, but um, like around the stove, I just figured there was some sort of glitch with the, um, with the chef and I figured that might have been the problem. But, um, yeah, there was, um, I think the only thing other than, um, that was I was just having a little bit of, like, layout problems because I just poorly planned this. <laughs> I was doing, um, I really had a, I, at the beginning, I mean, I had a really different plan of what kind of restaurant I wanted to make. And, um, the layout just wasn't working well, so I decided to just get rid of the footage and just start with something whatever, like, something completely different and just go with feeling. And this is kind of the build that I ended up making. And um, I think it looks really great, but I think that I didn't really like put a not lot of planning in. So basically, there wasn't a lot of space to do things, and um, I like I almost forgot to put a bathroom in, and then I wanted to throw in a bar as well. And um, so it's a little bit cramped, and um, I wish I made it a little bit bigger because I do expand it out. But um, yeah, <laughs> I have no excuse really. I think most of the problem had to do with the fact that um, 
Oh, I just, I didn't really know what kind of like restaurant I wanted to make. Originally it was supposed to be a little bit more of like a bistro, but um, the bre it didn't really feel like a bistro. And yeah, that's how I had um, the um, kitchenette kind of thing before. And sorry, I just heard a weird noise. I thought that, I think that's my dog. But um, I think there was just sort of this really weird like, um, ugh. It threw me off <laughs> but um yeah i think it just has to do with there's like a weird like little glitch or stuff like that and um none of my um sims had any problems sitting all around in that booth there it was a little cramped there so i was really worried that sims wouldn't be able to sit there but sims can sit there just fine um especially if other sims are in other booths booths and stuff like that and there's always um during the day and the evening, there's always a really good amount of sims that come into your restaurant too. So it's not like um, the place is dead. You know when you go to like other like restaurants or like you go to the library or something and there's like four sims there and it's the same sims that you saw at the last venue. <laughs> and um, so here, yeah, I expanded out a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. And um, yeah, I had just, um, I had no real problems other than those few things. And um, I'm hoping that eventually it'll get fixed and maybe they'll figure out why. It might be just, I, I'm pro it's probably just a bug. That's probably all it is. It's probably just like a weird, like, um, little thing. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, maybe I should talk about this build a little bit other than just dine out. But, um, yeah, I love how, like, green this is. And I love how all the stuff in, like, dine out is very, like, neutral. And I really want to get that with this build. And I feel like it has this very nice, like, um, vegan aesthetic. And that's why I end up calling this restaurant Raw Green. Even though it's not... <laughs> you would definitely not want me to hire me to have, um, to, um, like, name your restaurant. Because I can't name things, like, at all. But I figured, you know what, like, Raw Green kind of makes sense. So, um, I decided to go with that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it just, it felt like very, like, like a, a vegan restaurant or something like that. I don't know. I, I've never been to a vegan restaurant. But I, like, the aesthetic, you know, it, it felt like that's what it would look like. And, um, I really wanted to get that kind of with, um, this build. So, um, yeah. And I remember there's this little, like, bubble thing. And I kind of put it down on the floor there. And I put a little, like, um, green bush in the front there. Um, just to make it, like... A little bit more green and stuff like that and um, again like I said I try to use as much like dine out stuff as I could um, just because I can be a little reckless with stuff and I really want to make it dine out centric but um, yeah and I use kind of like a little bit of the peekaboo stuff I try to use like all the little things that I could think of without it being messy you know I didn't want it being so like cluttered that it was like a problem but um, I make that little, like, cute little sectioned off kind of area, and, um, yeah, it's a, it's an, I, I didn't really have any problems, like, moving around, um, my sim was more so upstairs all the time, so, um, like, the seating was no problem, I didn't have any problems with seating or anything like that, I didn't have any problems, like, with really, like, anything other than the fact that, um, food wasn't being served, and, like, my sims could, Sims can go to this bathroom like perfectly fine even though it's like awkward as heck and even after like this was even before I expanded the bathroom which you're not seeing until the screenshot soon but um yeah it didn't have like really any problems at all uh, except for not getting food which I think is the most essential thing but <laughs> um yeah I honestly have no clue why um but I'm hoping that when I go in after I do this voiceover and I give it a little check again um, and see why or what could be wrong with um, this build that might be causing that. Because I know when I first walked in, Sims were getting food. And then I guess it's just around the time that I ordered that I wasn't... Like, I wasn't getting food. And I don't know if maybe it's because I talked to a different waiter than that sat me down. I don't know what it could be. I honestly have no idea. And I was even, like, I was even rude to the chef, hoping that that would get my food out quicker. But I, like, it didn't really change anything at all. So, yeah, it was really strange. But, um... I think like I've said like a million times before, um, it's probably just, like I said, like a bug. I think there's probably just something that's like in its way or anything like that that's probably causing that. So, yeah. But, um, 
I hope you guys like this build because we're um, actually nearing the end here. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I hope you guys go and check it out. Um, I hopefully, like, actually it would be great if people could check it out and let me know um, if there's any problems with it. Because maybe it could be just me. Um, I don't know. Um, but um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you liked seeing all the little different kind of stuff that come with the new game pack. Um, leave in the comments below if you got the game pack and what your thoughts are. If you liked it or you didn't like it or if you didn't get the game pack. Um, just let me know why you might not have wanted to get it or like if you just couldn't get it for like um, money reasons and stuff like that which I totally understand. But um, yeah and just feel free to like um, this video as well and feel free like I said before to leave a comment I always love comments and um, I also have a Twitter and if you would like to get in contact with me at any point Twitter is like the best place to go because like I, I have Twitter on my phone so I can respond right away and um, I also have an Instagram and I also have a Tumblr where I share photos of all my builds that I do and yeah so feel free to check all those um, places out and like I said before I hope you enjoyed this build. <laughs> so, um, but um, yeah, I'm just doing little bits of like decor here and I will let you go for the screenshots. And I'm hoping that when I do <laughs> check out um, the layout of this build again, that it works just fine. But I will see you guys later. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you Friday with my next build. Bye bye, everyone.